What's going on guys? King Goku here. Welcome to episode 7 of my Let's Play for Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. And in today's episode, we'll be seeing Goku going up against Frieza. Now in the previous episode, we did see Goku going up against Frieza. Um, but during this battle, uh, it did appear that Goku and Frieza were even. But during the battle, Frieza reveals that, uh, that uh, he was holding back. And to Goku's surprise, uh, he started getting dominated. So as a last as a last resort, uh, Goku decided to use the spirit bomb. You really think you and you're probably wondering how did Goku have enough time to, to form the spirit bomb against Frieza? Well, as you guys saw in the episode, uh, Piccolo gave Goku enough time to form the ball, and once it was finished, Goku lost it right at Frieza. And as a result of that. Goku, Piccolo, Gohan, and Krillin, they all thought the they all thought the battle was over. But uh to their surprise, uh Frieza was still alive and kicking. So, uh Frieza uh, in a fit of rage, he targets Krillin. I'm not really sure why. But he goes right after Krillin and he kills him right in front of Goku. And as a result of that, it triggered something in Goku. It was the first time that we've really seen Goku be this angry. But as a result of Krillin being killed right in front of him, it triggers a transformation in Goku. It brings out his Super Saiyan powers, as you see right here. Now during the anime, the battle between Super Saiyan Goku and Frieza was pretty epic. Uh, you know, at first the battle looked like that Goku was just going to overwhelm Frieza with his new powers, but then it's revealed that Frieza can go into another transformation. He has one more transformation. It's not really a a big change to his appearance, but his power level raised high enough for him to be able to go toe to toe against Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, now, some say the battle in the anime was a little drawn out. I don't quite agree with that because, like I said in my other video. Uh, the fact that the battle was drawn out over so many episodes, it really adds to the fact that these guys were really that powerful, and that a battle between them shouldn't end in like in, it shouldn't end in two episodes. Like it should be drawn out to make it more epic, you know. But that's just my opinion. Alright, here's Frieza's full power. There's no time. Let's settle this quickly. Alright, here we go. Goku vs. Frieza in his full power form. And kind of like I said earlier, you know, when Frieza goes into this form, it did make him almost as powerful as Super Saiyan Goku. I do, I do believe that Goku's power level was still much higher anyway. But we know, but when I was watching the actual fight in the anime, um, there are points in the fight where it did look like Goku was gonna lose. But obviously, he, obviously he, he doesn't lose, but, uh, but I mean, if you really watch the fight, and if you really pay attention, I mean, it looked like Goku was outclassed in some parts of it. But as you all know, uh, Goku he overcomes Frieza's power. And towards the end of the battle, it, it, it becomes apparent that uh, Frieza's power level dropped too low. So low that I mean, Goku didn't even want to fight him anymore. He didn't even want to, he didn't even want to kill him. I mean, we all know that Goku's not a killer. He didn't kill anyone. Uh, unless he has to. Like, he'll give someone a chance to redeem himself. And, and that's kind of what he does with Frieza in this battle. When he actually wins the fight, uh, you know, he's walking away. Frieza begs him. 
Frieza begs uh, Goku to, uh, to save his life. And Goku gives in. And instead of Frieza just, you know, using the, that little bit of energy that Goku gave him to, to leave planet Namek, Frieza decides to just, to just kill Goku. And he tries to kill Goku. Uh, that was stupid, though. <laughs> Even Goku says, you fool, you know, as his blast came back. But, uh, I know Goku's too forgiven. I mean, Frieza did kill his best friend. I don't think I would have let him walk after this battle. But that's just me, though. Now, you probably noticed I haven't hit the R3 prompt yet. Because I want, you know, basically I want to do something different. You know, to see what happens if I just beat him at this point without hitting R3. But now I'm kind of curious, what does happen when you hit R3 here? Alright, I guess that's how that battle ends. Um, oh yeah, I think when you hit R3, it makes Goku and, uh, and Frieza do their little... The little clash, I think. I think you do fire Goku's angry Kamehameha at Frieza if you press R3. But I could be wrong, though. Kakarot has finally defeated Frieza. Someday I will become one. I will become a Super Saiyan. Huh? Who are you? You're Vegeta, right? Yeah, so? Get lost. He's different from what Mom told me. He's totally evil. There's no other choice but to ask Goku to take care of the androids. Frieza is defeated by Goku, and peace returns to the universe. However, it doesn't mean that true peace has returned. A never-before-seen terror is coming from the future. Anyway, I do want to thank guys for watching my Let's Play. In the very next episode, we'll be into the Android Saga. Which includes the battles between all the androids and also the Cell Saga as well. And I do look forward to doing that saga. Because right next to the Frieza Saga, that's also one of my favorites as well. I didn't really like the Boo Saga though. But I'm going to do that one anyway. Anyway. As always, if you guys could do me a huge favor. You know, if you guys could rate the video. And if you could uh, tell me how I do in the comment section. I would greatly appreciate it. Alright. King Goku now.